Welcome to Al Jazeera Sport Plus 3, where it's fair to say it's been an action-packed year. This year, we took our studios on the road to bring you closer to the action. For Euro 2012, we hosted our breakfast show live from Warsaw, Poland. And soon after, the studio was packed up, shipped back to London and erected here on the South Bank, all in time for the London Olympic Games. Very, very busy hub Hello. this morning. Thank you, everybody who's taking part and getting involved in that. Uh, we've got Lauren Sunis here, who's been going through everything that you were saying. Yes, so uh, early on we asked you, have you ever posted or uploaded anything online that you wish you hadn't? Yes. Uh, we've had some hilarious comments coming in that have been making us all laugh in here. Lee says, my brother met a girl online who said she was in her early 30s and then added him on Facebook, forgetting she'd had an album of photos of her 40th birthday. <laughs> Oops. Here's uh, Lauren Sunis uh, with all the pre match news from across the continent. Thanks Gary. Al Jazeera Sport is once again your Champions League station this evening. You'll see every goal from every game before we finish tonight here on Plus 3. Hi guys, you're watching Close Show TV and joining me today is TV presenter and fashion icon Jeff Brazier. It's a packed out crowd here at Craven Cottage tonight. 1,300 Polish fans have made the trip to be here for this Europa League tie. Good morning guys. Now, do you know whom one might be referring to if I call her Lilibet or even Cabbage? Hmm, well, I'm actually talking about Her Majesty the Queen. And behind closed doors, the Duke of Cambridge is called Wombat and the Prince of Wales is said to call his wife Camilla Gladys. So it's no surprise that the Prince of Wales has already nicknamed his grandson George. Georgie, that's a little bit more normal, I think. We want to know your pet names for your loved ones and how did you come up with them? We have one from Matt and Brifkani to Alan. Is this England team better than the team you used to play in back in the day? <laughs> <laughs> no, <it's> a, um... <laughs> It was top of my list, so uh, I had to, no. had to top of my list on my iPad. Well, as, as we got to the semi-finals in Euro '96 and lost on penalties, <laughs> then I'd have to say no, it wasn't though. No. Yes, Susie and Nigel are joining me now in the hub. And the biggest talking point from the news review um, seems to be Olympic gold medalist Rebecca Adlington having her home burgled after tweeting she was away. Oh, and what about Polish strawberries? They're everywhere downstairs in reception. I have oh, been having are. a couple each day. They're amazing. They are. We've had some other tweets during the show, Lon. We have. Thank you boys. very much, Any that, Gavin. That was delicious. Pleasure. Um, OK. Someone's actually just tweeted Jay Fash. Do you guys realise some of us at home are hungry while you guys are tempting our palates? I'm salivating. Well, sorry. Yeah, sorry Very sorry. That.